Hello students. Today we will see the ejector refrigeration cycle. So this is the schematic diagram of the refrigeration ejector refrigeration cycle. We will go by uh, <coughs> process wise. First of all we understand the schematic diagram. This is generator. Okay, in generator heat will be provided to the system. So this <coughs> this is ejector. This this is nozzle condenser heat rejecting part. Then we are having expansion wall. This is evaporator and this is pump. Okay. Now we will go by process. First process one to two. This one to two is a isentropic expansion. Okay. This is isentropic expansion process. And the component will be this is nozzle. Okay, in nozzle, what happened? The potential energy is converted into the kinetic energy. Therefore, pressure energy decreases and it converted into the kinetic energy. So velocity will become very high. So at point two, what happened? Vacuum will be created at this condition. At this condition, at point two, vacuum will be created. Okay, now in, due to this vacuum, this vacuum is connected to directly evaporator. So this vacuum pressure is equal to the evaporator pressure. So as we know that in evaporator we required low pressure. So this low pressure is created by nozzle. How? The pressure energy is converted into the kinetic energy and pressure energy decreases. Okay, now two to three process, what happened? Two to three process. Here the refrigerant vapor, now this is motive vapor, this is motive vapor and this is refrigerant vapor. Now whatever mass of fluid is given to the evaporator, it is refrigerant, it will act as a refrigerant. So this is refrigerant vapor, motive vapor is which is giving in the generator. So at point two, what happened? This motive vapor will entrainment the refrigerant vapor. So this two to three will be the mixing process. This will be the mixing process where motive vapor and refrigerant vapor mix together. Entrainment occurs. The momentum will transfer to the refrigerant vapor. Okay. This two to three process pressure will remain constant. Okay. Here pressure in process one to two. What happened? Pressure decreases. In two to three process, pressure will remain constant. Now what happened in three to four? Now here at point two, the velocity is very high. The fluid is in, is in supersonic phase. Then at point three, there will be a throat. So this supersonic fluid is converted into the subsonic flow. Therefore, shock wave will produce and this shock wave will increase the pressure. Okay, so pressure will drastically increase and also after point three, the, there will be a graduation, gradual increase in the cross-sectional area. Therefore, again, this velocity energy or kinetic energy is converted into the potential energy. So because of this combined process, the pressure will increase in three to four process. So what happened in three to four process? Pressure rise will occur. So here, pressure rise. Pressure rise due to two effect. First will be the shock wave. Second will be the enlargement area. Okay. So pressure will increase. Okay. We'll do simultaneously. We will plot the PS diagram also. Uh, then it will be very easy. So here we are having three pressure levels. If you see this, generator will be at higher pressure. Then in nozzle, pressure decreases. So there will be another lower pressure, which is equal to the evaporator. And condenser is maintained at the middle pressure. OK. So we'll take one by one. Suppose point 0.1, point 0.1 will be So this is point 0.1, it 
condition after generator which is high pressure suppose we consider okay we are considering pressure 100 degree centigrade so this will be maintained at 100 degree centigrade then this 100 degree centigrade vapor is expanded into the nozzle isentropically so pressure decreases so pressure decreases so here pressure drop will occur up to the evaporator so this is one this is two one to two process nozzle pressure decreases then two to three mixing process where pressure will remain constant so two to three okay two to three it is a mixing process then what happened in three to four there will be a pressure rise because of shock wave and gradual increase in the area so there will be a pressure rise three to four okay pressure rise then four to five it is a condensation process condenser part so condensation will occur in condensation what happen heat is rejected but at constant pressure so pressure will remain constant and heat is rejected here heat will be rejected to the cooling tower water or any system which absorb the heat it may be air cool or water cool so 4 to 5 4 to 5 condensation as the name suggests condensation means it will convert into the liquid part so 4 to 5 now here it becomes liquid therefore it is saturated liquid line clear why we taken up to this line because it is this is critical point suppose this is liquid line saturated liquid line this is saturation gases line so up to this point 4 to 5 suppose we consider it is maintained at 40 degrees celsius the rejected part this will take 40 degrees celsius evaporator we consider it as 0 degree centigrade so this is 0 degree centigrade Okay, this is just for simplification 100, 40, and 0 degree centigrade. Okay, now what happened at 4? What happened at 5 after condensation? Only the mass which is required for evaporator it will go into the evaporator. Suppose it is M2 mass and this is M1 mass. M1 means the motive vapor mass which is going to the generator, M2 is the refrigerant vapor. Okay, the refrigerant mass. So we know this. At 5, M1 will go to the pump through pump. So, 5 to 8 is a pumping process. 5 to 8 pumping process. So, this is 5 to 8 pumping where pressure increases at isenthalpy. So five to eight again this is eight process five to eight pressure increase okay at the same time five at five m2 mass will go to the expansion wall therefore five to eight expansion process this will go downward five to eight expansion process sorry 5 to 6 this is 0. 0.6 the 5 to 6 process expansion m2 please remember this this is very important point m2 only expand here m1 will go to the pump 
Now what happened at, at point 6? Six? 6 will go to the evaporator where pressure is low. So boiling will occur. During boiling it absorbs the heat. Okay. So heat will get absorbed. And this liquid become vapor and it will suck by the ejector suction body. Okay. So this 6 to 7 is a <coughs> suction process in the ejector. 6 to 7. Now we got point 6 here and it will go into the now here 6 is the before uh, evaporator 6 to 7 will be the boiling process so whatever liquid is there is liquid in converted into the vapor okay so draw so 6 here 6 to Seven, six to seven. Okay, why seven is up to this point? Because we are assuming that after the evaporator, the condition is saturated vapor. Okay, this is seven. Now, at point eight, eight to one, it is a heat addition process in the generator. So heat is added in the generator or boiler. But we know the in boiler pressure will remain constant. So at constant pressure heat addition will occur. So at point 8 heat addition because of heat addition. What happened? This liquid will become vapor. So this 8 to 1. 8 to 1. It is a boiling process. Where? Pressure is constant and in evaporator 6 to 7 it is also boiling process or what we can say evaporation process. Again pressure will remain constant. Clear? 5 to 6 the expansion process. Five to six. Expansion process where pressure reduces. Okay, clear. Now we'll again go to the uh, this this point two. We know point seven. It is here, and we know point one. Point one to two is a expansion two here here. So this two and 7 will mix together and form point 0.3 so this is point 0.2 it will go here and point 0.7 again it will go here and we will get a new point that is point 0.3 and 3 to 4 again it is due to the shock wave process I hope you understood the entire process thank you thank you very much